I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times newsroom. Several protests stretching from Sunday into Monday resulted in at least nine arrests in Los Angeles following the acquittal of George Zimmerman and the killing of unarmed teenager Trayvon Martin. Here with an update on the local demonstrations and police presence in the city is LAPD Commander Andy Smith. Hello. Andy, thanks for being here. So let's start off with these um, at least nine arrests and these various demonstrations throughout the city. Where were they? What did they entail? What did the arrests entail? Well, you know what? It was uh, not a very well organized or not a centrally organized kind of a protest. Oftentimes we see people protesting up Broadway and there's an organizer and there's a plan and there's a march route and there's all those things. Nothing like that happened yesterday. Uh, it was a lot of kind of an organic protest. People came out of their buildings, out of their houses and said, uh, you know, we're upset at what happened and we want to be heard. And so there were a lot of little protests. You know, some of them got a little bit bigger, up to about 300 people, but they started uh, some in Lamert Park, some on Crenshaw Boulevard, uh, and traveled a couple different places throughout the city. And there was about 80 outside the CNN building in, in Hollywood, is that correct? Yeah, that was a break-off group. They started, uh, they ended up going on the freeway for a while, and then they got off the freeway and a, and a breakout group went up through Hollywood and for the better part of about six hours was walking through the different streets in Hollywood. They take over an intersection, uh, you know, put up their signs, speak what they had on their mind, and then they'd move to another intersection. So we did that for about six hours. Unfortunately, they at one point went into the W Hotel or some folks that were with them went into the W Hotel, committed some acts of vandalism, and at that point it became less of a protest and more of a uh, you know, criminal activity, so we had to stop that. And there was a report of an officer injury that led to an arrest, is that correct? We had an officer uh, in Hollywood that had a bottle thrown at him. I'm not sure if he was injured. I don't believe he was injured, but uh, that individual was taken into custody and booked for assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. And this morning, the citywide tactical alert was called off. Where is police presence going to be today, and, and what do you expect in terms of additional protests? Well, we canceled our TAC alert at about 1 o'clock last night when we didn't need those additional resources. We call it tactical alert when we need additional police officers from throughout the city to come to a particular location. Um, what we're expecting today is if there's more protests, our response is going to be completely based on what the protesters do. If the protesters are small groups and they're peaceful, then we'll have a very minimal presence. If they grow and become larger and become unlawful, uh, as in last night in the W Hotel, then of course we'll have to bring in more officers. So we're ready for anything. Uh, we've got enough officers working that we can call them in to whatever area needs additional officers. So we're cautiously optimistic that tonight will be good. And has LAPD kind of been clued in as to where any potential protests could be happening tonight? Well, that's the tough part of this kind of group that we have here. It's really not well organized. It's not no central organization. There's no one person. We know people in the crowd sometimes. You know, last night I ran into some of the folks that used to be in Occupy and at other May Day protests. And, you know, I've developed a rapport with them, so I'm able to talk to them and, you know, but they're really not the identified leaders. There's no real leader in many of these little marches that are out there, so it's a little more difficult. What we do is we meet with whoever um, seems to be the, uh, the impromptu leader, uh, ask for voluntary compliance and see what their plan is. Oftentimes they don't have a plan. They want to march here or there and decide as they go. We just don't want them to go on the freeways and we don't want them to uh, break anything or, or we certainly don't want anybody to get hurt. Sure, sure. Well, thank you so much for the insights. Okay, thank you. Be sure to keep up with our ongoing coverage on the demonstrations in L.A. on LATimes.com and on Twitter at LATimes.